Hey, I was just sitting around my house today, and I thought... I got all sorts of books right there. I should probably make a book video, so I'll make a book video right now. A Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, a novel by Stephen King, is a great book about a girl who goes into a forest because her parents and her brother are fighting. All of Vince Flynn's writings are good. A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin is a must-read for any fantasy f fan, although it's kind of long. Calico Joe by John Grisham, Grisham is by far his best work. He is very good, and Calico Joe is an awesome player. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. If you're up for the Holy Bible, The Physics of Baseball by Robert K. Adair, Ph.D., is fascinating and irresistible, as the New York Times book review would say. They are right. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? Really old copy. Also, Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne is a very good book, and it has a lot of very vivid images. Imagery, not images. You can picture it in your mind. There are no pictures in this book. The Fire Within series by Krista Lacey. The first five books are good, but then just stop reading. Sixth and the seventh books suck. And now for some books that I'm going to have to Google the images for them because I don't own them. Because I'm cheap. Everyone in the world would like Divergent and Insurgent by Veronica Roth. It is a very awesome book. I hope she comes out with a third one. The Hunger Games Catching Fire and Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins are the best books of all time. And lastly, a book that did not help me at all with my golf swing, A Thousand Paths to Perfect Golf by Stephen Wilkinson.